Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, world away. We've now got part two of the trial of Diagostini's Build Your Own Apollo 11 Lunar Module. Now, as I said, there is five parts in this trial, and this came out in December last year. If you haven't seen issue one of this, where I just explain how the trial works uh, and about this build, uh, I'll put a card up here. You can click on that, and you'll be able to see uh, the part one video. Uh, but in part two, we're going to be building the uh, American flag, and we're also going to be doing a little bit more of the ascent stage uh, module part that we did before, which was just this hatch here. Uh, we're going to be extending onto that with some electrics and a light as well. Uh, so let's show you what we got to do. Uh, quite simple. These are all the parts here. And then we're going to be doing this uh, tracking light exterior, which is part of this um, ascent stage right window assembly. That's what they're calling it. Uh, and this is going to be attached to the part, as I said, that we worked on the last issue. And that's going to be complete there. Now, I don't know if there's going to be a way for me to test that light. I am going to see if I've got a connector to see if I can connect that light. If I haven't, then uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to do that. Uh, and then quite simply, we're going to be doing the flag, putting the flag on the pole. And then they've saying about putting the flag in the diorama, which we haven't got. Uh, what we do have, though, is just this little bit here which would actually slot into the diorama, I think, with the footprints. I've already tried to see if the uh, astronaut here's footprints actually match them, that they don't. But what I'll do is at the end is I'll get a uh, picture up on the screen. I think I'll try and use some of my green screen. I haven't used that for ages. And we'll have a lunar surface and we'll see what that looks like on a lunar surface. Should be quite good. Uh, but uh, quite a quick issue. Um, without further ado, I can't wait. This is a really, really good build of mine because I am really interested in the Apollo program. And... Um, I think this would be really good if it came out. As I said before, um, they've missed the boat really because obviously the anniversary was this year of the moon landing. But uh, if it does go out, uh, we are in that year, if you like. So hopefully uh, they would release it soon. But uh, without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this panel. And if you have a look, look at the detail on that with the rivets on the outside and stuff. This is what it looks like the outside. This is metal. So uh, what we're going to be doing is we're first off going to be attaching the window to this hatch. Now what we're going to do is put this through here and as you can see it lines up the screw holes. So on one side it looks like that and on the other side it's going to be put into place just on these holes here. Now we're going to put another part in here which is this silver reflective bit here. Now this is going to be going flat. So the flat side is on top of this just like that. And then what we need to do is screw all this into place with five mil screws. Now it comes with three mil and five mil screws in this one. So it's the longer screws that we're going to need. So I'm going to try and hold this up because if I put that down, it's going to push that window up, which I don't want it to happen. And I'm going to try and screw all of this into place to keep it all fixed. Screw all the way in here. And that's one side in. It's going to square that up. We're going to put another five mil screw just in the other side there. So I've chose to do part two on the black side of my cutting mat here because, uh, well, we're in space, aren't we? <laughs> so that's my logic. So make sure that's nice and tight. That's not going to come out. Both sides here. Let's tighten that up. And there we go. So the window, as you can see, fits flush on that section there. And then we've got the reflective strip on the other side ready to take the LED light. Now, the LED light looks like this. Now, the reason I said it's going to be a bit tough to test this is because it hasn't got the normal connector that I'm used to. It's got one of these ones, which is about twice as big as the other one. But there's the LED. It's just a simple white LED, but that's just going to go into the hole that we've just made there. Now, as you can see, it does slip out quite easily. So I'm guessing it's probably best to glue this into place. In fact, they do tell you to glue into place. And I've put my uh, glue here so you can see what one I actually use. As I said, I buy it from the range in the UK. I'm just going to put some glue just at the base of the LED here. So that when it's in that little hatch, it's not going to come out. Now, this glue, for some bizarre reason, unlike normal super glues, actually dries clear. So... I'm not going to have a problem with that smoking up. But even if it did smoke up, I'm just going to hold that into place for a minute. It would add a good diffusing effect, I reckon. So I'm just going to hold that into place until that's completely fitted. And there you go. That's the light in. And from the other side there, as you can see, you can't really see the bulb because the window is diffused. 
So uh, that's going to look really good lit up. I really do hope I can figure out a way to do that. Now we need to attach the right window, which looks like this. This part here is metal as well. So this is going to be going on these two holes here and here. So when I put it on, it's going to sit just like that. So we get the three mil screws into this one. They're the smaller ones. Now I can see this being really fiddly. I'm going to try and hold it with one hand and see if I can get lucky. Looking like it's going in okay. Just to hold that just for a second, then I'll put the second one in. And then we'll tighten that up. That actually went in a lot easier than I thought it would. <laughs> okay, so we'll put the second one in here. I do like the amount of metal on this. That's the first thing that's drawing me to this build. So I'm going to make sure that's fully tightened. It's one in. And there's the second one. So the window is nice and rigid on that, looking just like that. It's hard to keep the LED out of the way, but what we're going to do is we're going to bring over the hatch that we worked in the last one. Quite simply, these two holes that we've got here are just going to go into the screw holes here. So that's going to sit just without tangling everything up like that. Oh, just like that. Now, once again, we're going to need to put some screws in here. So they're the three mil screws again. These are the smaller ones. So I'm going to get one in and just make sure everything's lined up because that back in again put the one screw in there nice and tight because basically this hatch here needs to fit in the ingress that we've got this level here needs to fit in the ingress that we've got just underneath these screw holes here so that's what i'm conscious of when i'm actually screwing this in so i've got one in let's put the other one in here we go screw that down nice and tight Now I'm putting it in tight because this whole part here is obviously quite big, but I want to make sure everything's fitted into place perfectly, which it is. So that's what it's looking like this side. This is what it looks like from the other side there. And obviously we've got the little window hatch there. Coming along, isn't it? Oh, let's close the hatch. Go put that to one side because now we're going to be working on the flag. So this flag at the moment is on a sticky bit of... Uh, plastic so I need to peel off the adhesive backing on this now we just need to take the flagpole that comes with it we need to make sure this is put on the star side so the right angle there is going to be where the stars are and I'm going to be using my uh, actual template on my cutting board just to make sure that I've lined this up absolutely center So once that's on, that looks like that. All we've got to do now is just cut off this little flap here. So I've got my really sharp scalpel for that. Hold that in place and we'll just cut through that like that. And there you go. There's the flag on the flag pole. And then all we have to do is put that in the little diorama section here. Just like that. <laughs> it just floats around on its own. Actually, if I blow it, it'll probably change direction. <laughs> there's no wind on the moon Wayne so why did the flag wave ah who knows <laughs> anyway so that's the flag in let's take a picture with the astronaut in front of it and there we go that looks really impressive doesn't it <laughs> looks good I think the only thing left to do now is to trial out to see if we can get power now I haven't got uh, an adapter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to risk pumping three and a half volts through that LED uh, and hopefully it won't blow up on me but we will see. I've got my little connectors here that I use with an Arduino. So they're in there. I'm going to plug the other side in to these connectors here. Now remember, LEDs are bi-directional. Now I don't know which way is negative and positive on it. So I'm going to get this one in. Just like that. And then we'll try and light it up, which it's lit. And there we go. That's probably way too bright at the moment. Um... I've probably got too much voltage running through there. But there we go. That's it all lit up.
So there we go, that's that issue done. Let me just show you the detail on that just here. I think this part's really good. Really good. And uh, it's quite a big section of the ship that's already been built. This was scheduled for 100 issues. So whether it does come out as 100 issues, who knows if it's going to come out at all. Diego Cini, I'm going to applaud you again. Please, please, please release this. Um, some people who have done this trial says the parts are a little bit um, substandard. I haven't seen that yet, but I'm only two issues in and I'm really enjoying this build. So uh, if you did like that video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. Take care.